guys and welcome back to my channel. So I posted these on my Instagram story a little bit ago and you guys went crazy and we're super excited to see these but today we are reviewing the AliExpress bombshell legging dupes and I just want to disclose I did receive these from an AliExpress seller. These are from the Miss Who store but I was not paid to say anything and these are all my honest opinions and again I'm not necessarily telling you to buy these products. I'm just giving you the details on how they fit me and how they work for me. All right so let's get into the details. These are only $15.99, which is super cheap because the bombshell leggings are $86. Like that's like Lululemon prices. I didn't even know they were that expensive because I've never really even looked into buying their stuff. But like, what? Like $86? I mean like, of course, like, you know, brands have different levels of quality and everything, but that's really expensive. In terms of the fabric, the top fabric here reminds me a lot of the Gymshark Ombre Seamless fabric, except a little thicker. It's super plush and it has like a little marl texture to it. It's also super stretchy and has a lot of give. It's also compressive, but I didn't feel like it squished my butt in any way. It just felt very like hugging. The sock material is slightly more slick, but it's not that shiny material at all. The sock material definitely felt more compressive than the top material, which I like because, you know, you give your booty a little more freedom and then you can have a little more compression on the legs. And the top waistband is just like a ribbed version of this sock material. The fabric isn't brushed or slick. If you're familiar with the Gymshark Ombre Seamless fabric, this is very, very similar. So on the label here, it says that these are a poly nylon spandex blend, but the actual bombshell material is made of a polyester spandex blend for the top and micro polyester spandex for the socks. I don't know what the difference is, to be honest. The socks look like a slick material on the actual bombshell ones. They look like somewhat shiny and these are not at all shiny. So the materials are definitely different. I don't think that's a bad thing. I think that the AliExpress sellers actually did a really good job of these leggings. They're actually very high quality. And I also want to say I've never had the bombshell leggings. So I did a lot of research on like the photos and like watched some videos. I'm going to do my best to compare these to what I know about the bombshell leggings. So these come in black, gray, forest green, pink, and yellow and some details compared to Bombshell. So for the waistband, on that Bombshell website for these similar looking sock leggings with the top band, their top band looked like a thick elastic, which usually feels kind of cheap to me. I don't really like those. So actually these ones, they're just made of a ribbed seamless material and they blend seamlessly into the marl color. And because this waistband is seamless, it doesn't cut into my sides at all. So it's very muffin top friendly as well. I would compare this waistband a lot to, again, like a Gymshark Ombre Seamless, except definitely a little tighter. And I haven't had any issues with this stretching out. I feel like they have like more elasticity to them. On the website, the waistband went up to the model's belly button, just a little bit above. And it did the same for me. These hit just right above the belly button. One thing I do want to note about the waistband is there is a little bit of unevenness. You can kind of tell there's just like a little bit of unevenness in the um, the way the seams are made. Um, it's really not noticeable once it's on, like I almost didn't notice it myself, but it is on both of the colors. So that is like a slight defect they have in the leggings. But again, it's really not very noticeable. There are also some differences with the seams. The bombshell ones actually have a front seam and two side seams and probably a back seam as well. I didn't see it on the photo but I will insert a picture. But these ones are actually seamless, which I prefer seamless leggings. So you have no seam on the side, well on either side. And then on the front, you kind of have this little like, little mini line thing. It's like a little raised line, but it's not a seam. So it doesn't cause any camel toe. If you've had Gymshark Ombre Seamless, I'm really comparing these to Gymshark Ombre Seamless leggings, but they just have a lot of similarities. If you've had those leggings, this is a very similar little front line that they have, but it's not very noticeable and it's just kind of raised. It's not like an actual sewn thing. So for the sock height, it looked like it hit the model like upper mid thigh, like there were a few inches above it and it hit me about the same place. I had a few inches above my thigh, but it did cover like past my mid thigh, I would say. So looking very closely at the sock material and like the sock detailing of the actual bombshell ones, it looks like they are slick with like little like ribbed dots all along them. So it was kind of like this shiny, like raised dot texture. These are not at all like that. There's no ribbing and they're also not slick. It's just a compressive plush material. So not slick and no bumps. There's also no marl or any color differences on the sock part. It's just all one solid color. Also both have three stripes on the leg and a gusset crotch. 
As for sizing, I do have a small in both of these and I would recommend sizing up. I was able to get these on and I was able to wear them to the gym, but they just felt very tight on my legs. And like, you know how you sometimes feel like you have like sausage legs, like they're just like kind of stuck in there. It was a little bit uncomfortable for me. I also had a little crotch tightness and you never want any like, you know, seams to pull or anything. So I'm normally a small, but I would have definitely preferred a medium in these leggings. And I don't normally size up, so that's definitely saying a lot. Um, I also have my measurements down below. Just know that I would have preferred a medium in these and I have the small currently and they're just a bit small. They also come in size small through large, so it's not the best size range ever, but I mean, it's something. So as for sweat proofness, they're probably not the most sweat proof um, because I mean, whenever you have like a solid color, you can, you know, it, it'll show some sweat. Um, the top part is marled, so that can maybe help a little bit, but I wouldn't say you're like totally free from sweat proofness. This, eh. The top color, this top color is darker, so if you sweat a lot like on the top, that would probably hide it pretty well, but that sweat might show. Also, no camel toe at all in these leggings, even though they're a bit small for me. There's no front seam and they're also very thick, so I didn't have any problem with that at all. As for cellulite, I feel like these are actually pretty thick and compressing, so I feel like that would help in some respects, but again, I feel like I don't know any leggings that don't have a print on them that are like totally cellulite proof so there might be a little risk but you do have that marl texture which helps here and they're overall very compressive and thick and plush i'd say like cellulite friendly but not cellulite proof also for being squat proof i mean these were very tight on me and these green ones were 10 out of 10 totally squat proof i wore them to the gym i should i'll insert clips somewhere in this video the pinks they were just a little bit sheer. I mean, you kind of get that with lighter colors, so I guess that makes sense, um, which means the yellow ones probably wouldn't be totally squat proof either, but I'll give these like a seven out of 10 squat proof because they really weren't that bad. I probably actually would wear them on a leg day still just because they just feel like leg day leggings. They're very like thick, compressive, high-waisted, and I feel like with, you know, the right pair of underwear, you wouldn't see too much, but just know that the darker colors, totally squat proof, lighter colors, probably a tiny bit sheer, but nothing like, nothing crazy. All right, so thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any more questions, please go ahead and leave them down below. I am sick today, so I hope I'm not forgetting anything because I don't feel great, but thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.